Hi everybody, Jason here, and today I just wanted to talk a little bit about WarioWare Gold. So I've been attempting to sort of review <laughs> uh, games that I've been uh, playing and beating, and so recently I played this one. I didn't play it on stream or put up a video online or anything like that, but basically my feelings on this game is that I love WarioWare as a series in general just because there's lots of weird things to it, there's lots of replay value to all of the little mini games that they put in there. It's always very unique and different and I like the way that they do it. Uh, my favorite part about these is just the fact that you can just keep playing them and playing them and playing them trying to get better seeing how much of a high score you can get and plus I like the uh, nature of the way that the games are actually made. They're very unique and inventive and for things like uh, like the Nintendo themed video games those are my favorite by far. Uh, so <laughs> uh, with this one I, it kind of hit me just a little bit flat. There's lots of things about this game that are amazing. Uh, the look of it is great, the way that it's sorted out and uh, just, uh, presented to the player is great. Um, there's uh, voice acting in this game, which is amazing. They try to put a story in here, which is goofy and kind of throwaway, but at the same time, it's like actually kind of cool. Um, and compared to all of the other WarioWare games, I think this is like the most complete offering that they have available. However, it's there's not much to it um like once you beat the game that's it you can beat this game in like oh gosh less than less than an hour if you try really hard um, <laughs> uh and after that it's just like well what do you do uh the game's just done uh you can continue to go play all the other stuff and there's the toy mode uh which you can unlock the little capsules and get like little tiny things but I still feel that the best game in the series that actually had unlockables and everything like that was the very first one. Uh, there was like little secrets hidden in there every so often. The games that you unlocked were actually kind of cool. Uh, granted, I don't know if there's like a Poyo Poyo in here, uh, which Poyo Poyo was like, or no, uh, was it Poyo Poyo? Is it just Poyo? I have no idea. Poyo Poyo, that's uh, freaking... <laughs> Say a Tetris. Uh, either way, um, it just it feels like there's not much to do after you actually beat the game. Um, if this was a console game, like if it was on Switch, there might be the multiplayer modes that you see in like the Wii U or Wii versions of the game, but it's just it's kind of just flat. I love it. Like the way that they did it was great. The voice acting was fantastic. The games that they used and updated were amazing. Um, but just afterwards, it's just once you're done, you're just kind of done. There's just no more. It's just like, oh well, I beat it. Well, that's it. Either way, uh, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Uh, are you a fan of the Warrior War games? Have you played them? I think I've owned all of them except for one of the ones on the DS, I believe. Um, but all the other ones, like the, uh, <laughs> the original and then the one with the twisted and all that sort of stuff, uh, I, I, I've had them all. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.